Alrighty. I guess since we're a little bit restricted here time wise, we can get started then. I'm ready. Sorry to get you up out of bed, so I've been up. Out of bed since eight. Since eight? Mm hmm Early riser. I'm ready. Okay. About the, the shows in Japan here, are they pretty much the same as what you've been doing back in the States? Yeah, active crowd, happy to hear the records. They know the tunes. That's about it. Um, same in a way. They don't know as much English, but they seem to know it in a way. They, if you tell them to say ho, they say ho. Um, what's the difference? There's something like in England. Same type of thing. Is the, the type of show you've been doing the same thing though? Same. Have I been doing the same show? Yeah. yeah. Same show. You know, just go and do what I do best. How does it feel like being in a, in a non-English speaking country there? <laughs> just being here? Yeah. Mm. Doesn't catch up guard or anything? Pretty much handling it. Like when um, I call on the phone, like, I can't get mad because I don't know what I'm talking about. That's the only difference. It's hard to order food. They don't know what you're saying. But you pretty much be satisfied with the way things have gone yesterday. Great. Everything's been going great. How about the rest of the guys in the, uh, the band? Well, they're having a great time, too. They're happy to come over here and see that people like us everywhere. That we're internationally known. It's great. The whole, the whole year's been great for me. Because um, the success, we almost triple platinum. And all I wanted to do was go platinum, really. And we have we did more than that, and I'm happy. Worked hard. That's DMC. Hi. Hi. From Rocky Hot Magazine. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm just asking uh, about the, uh, the show. Here. It's pretty much the same show you've been doing uh, back in the States as well. Uh -huh. Absolutely no, no changes or anything? None at all. Not, not, not Peter. Same show. Happy with the response you get here. Loved it. Well, it seemed like uh, they weren't quite understanding. Well, we're in Japan. What can we say? But they, they, um, I guess they're motivated by the music, and they're familiar with the group. You know? <coughs> they know what we do. Um, how's it say comparison to England? Comparison to England, it was all right too. They um, blew whistles the whole time. Uh huh. What you think of that? They are okay. different from us. Yeah. It seems like they're kind of trying to make uh, your style. Yeah, they're trying. A little bit. To they have their own style a little bit too. Anything you can pick up from them? Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. <laughs> Big, the big turn was walk this way. Uh-huh. What's the idea? Was it to do that record? Yeah. The producers and us. It was a, a, a group decision. Was it the song you've been doing? Well, no, no. uh, we didn't, um, before rap records was made, we used to use it to rap over. Like when we used to rap in the parks and the street. But we never was familiar with the lyrics and the vocals. We only used it for the beat. So we just said we was going to do it over, and then we said, better yet, let's um, do it with them. So that's how we did it. There's quite a bit of pressure on the band, especially stateside, because of all the, the violence and the gangs and the gravity at your concerts and whatnot. It was only one concert. It was only at um, in L.A. Well, you're small. And because of that, they just kept acting like it was more than one place, but it was only one place, actually, in L.A. And they... Because we were so big and hot at the time, they tried to just blow it out of proportion. Um, are there, are there no violence. We did 60 concerts this summer, and only one of them had problems. Why do you think the, the press is trying to uh, hang this on your head? It sells papers. Interesting. Okay. Sensationalism. Huh, if you think it's blown out of proportion there, it's blown out of proportion more here. For some reason, the press here gets the idea that all your concerts are these uh, festivals of violence that people just come and shit out. It's not the truth. Mm -hmm. So we can re rectify that point right here and now. Yes, we can. I tell you that we did 
60 concerts this summer and 59 went well. And in LA they have a gang problem, so they had problems because they had problems the next day at another concert, and they had problems at the New Edition concert, and they always have problems. They have problems at a basketball game because they have problems in general. What kind of kids are coming to see you in the shows in the States? Black, all, white, everybody. All kinds. I think it's mainly a rock crowd? No. No. It's mixed, everybody. Or run the MC. I saw like a lot of young kids last night. This band's pretty white, they can be as well. Hmm? Yes. Old, young, black body. How about when you first were starting out, what kind of gigs were you doing? You said you were performing the street, but about had one step up from there. Um, places that hold about a thousand people. Yeah. In which you perform with like other rap acts. Yeah. Don't perform by yourself. Fair, fair. Headline and. And we started performing with like big concerts, Marvin Gaye, and Barclays and stuff. How we do things at Rock School? That's been quite a while ago. When we first started, we were talking about it. Yeah. About how many years ago? Four. How was this response back then? Did you have any idea what catch on like a big character? Yeah, because we, we used to always, we always, um, would do better than the acts we played there with. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much in the corporation, but you pretty much knew where you were going with the sale. He's gonna make more records. Um, Do more concerts. What's uh, what do you have in mind now with your main uh, image aspirations? Just kind of keep it up and play as much as possible. Keep making music. Yep, and move it. Do you want to stick with the same format? Do you want to go on sportswear business? What do you mean, format? Uh, rap and Reebok. Just yeah, we don't sing. We ain't gonna never sing. Really? We don't, we don't sing. We gonna rap till we die. Three albums. First one, the second one, the platinum. The platinum is this one's on. Going triple platinum. But the other rap house is a stage right now. What are some of your favorite? <clears throat> Chucky D, he hasn't come out yet though. Uh, guy named Chucky D will be coming out soon. He's very good. And um, close to him. Um, Chucky D is my favorite. Who else is you know, they play a lot of rap on the radio. But they're not your favorite group. That's what I'm just saying. You know, I don't have any favorites, I just listen, you know. How about music other than rap? Reggae. Is that right? What kind of reggae Um, everybody from Yellow Man to Pato Bonten, Shine Hay, and um, Steel Pulse and Third World and all that. Is that the type of stuff you were brought up on? Not really brought up. I mean, that's stuff I'd listen to or I'd like to listen to. When did you decide to do this About how old were you? When we got to our first record, we thought we were 17. But I mean, how old were you when you knew you were going to be professional musicians? When we put out our first record, that's when we were 17. Uh -huh. That's when we were professional. And uh, how long have you been doing before that? Since 11. Got you started. He was there in the streets like basketball. What was that when you were 11 years old? 76, 77. 77. And that was about when that type of thing started happening? Yeah. You walk outside and you hear rap. A lot of people speculate on how, as to how it started, but what's your curiosity? My theory is that the um, DJ got the crowd motivated by using the microphone. That's how I think it started. He, if he's at a party and playing records and that wasn't making the crowd happy, he would um, start talking on the microphone. That's what I think. We're about to see you Hollis Queens. You was at the show? Did you like the show? Did you like it? Yeah.